Based on what I got out of Ivankov and these pieces of evidence, I guess he's a human trafficker. Is there evidence that proves Ivankov was trafficking in humans? A hefty receipt for children's clothes with yesterday's date. According to Ivankov's register, not all his merchandise is accepted by the customer. Someone paid a lot of money for a piece of merchandise that could well be Sofia Capone. The forgeries belonging to Sofia Capone's kidnapper. tried to clean up urine stains with some kind of powerful cleaning product made with ammonia. The marks seem to have been made by teeth, although I can't be sure. Animal fur. Just a number. Bullet casings. They probably shot at whatever was in the cage. They invented these less than 20 years ago to make life easier for lumberjacks. I wonder how long it was before the mob was using them for their own ends. This is fresh blood, not more than a day old. Dried blood. Been there a while. Marks left by the chainsaw, no doubt. cross painted by hand in blood. Was it the prisoner's own hand and their own blood? Sickening smell, revolting stains. This was a toilet for whoever was locked up here. The diameter of these shackles is pretty conclusive. Wrists or ankles. There's still some water and the food hasn't dried out completely. This cage was occupied recently. I think it says Abdelkader, the owner of the biggest prostitution ring in Santa Esperanza. Three Ks. Holy Christ. Jesus.
God, what is this? Bloody paw prints. Made by dogs, most likely. Blood stains trampled by the bare feet of at least four different people. The boots that left these prints were fairly new, to judge by the clean outline of the sole. Looks like a scoreboard. Some of the competitors have letters and a number, but towards the end there are others that only have a number. Ivankov said he dreamt of becoming a boxer. Did his dreams come true down here? There's more than blood on here. There's chunks of brain. The leather's ripped, torn, by teeth. Human bodies, dismembered and piled up like trash. Shackles the right size for wrists and ankles. Recent traces of food and drink. A bucket that contained excrement. No doubt about it, there were people in these cages. The size of the shackles, the troughs for food and drink, and the buckets for waste prove it. Can I prove that the people held here were sold? According to Ivankov's register, not all his merchandise is accepted by the customer. Someone paid a lot of money for a piece of merchandise that could well be Sofia Capone. A scoreboard, like a knockout tournament. The cages are labeled with letters, or names. The labels on the cages could refer to the customers who buy human merchandise from Ivankov. I base this assumption on the register, in which some of the pieces are marked as acceptable and paid for, and others are not. What does he do with the ones that are rejected? Cages that likely house dogs. Chewed and stained with blood and body tissue. A metal table on which bodies were mutilated recently. A scoreboard, like a knockout tournament. With all the pieces that are rejected by his customers, Ivankov organizes fights, probably to the death, between prisoners and between prisoners and dogs. Maybe even between prisoners and his own men. What is the fate of those that lose? A metal table on which bodies were mutilated recently. Human bodies, dismembered and piled up like trash. It seems clear that those that lose in combat are hacked to pieces, some of them while they're still alive. I'd say they're then thrown into the water, but there's no proof.
They're still damp. Quite the contrast with the rest of the room. I'd almost say it was cleaner than my shower at home. Have a sweet tooth? Yeah. And that's why they called you the Sugar Kid? <sighs> All right. What do you want to know? I'm sorry about Billy Johnson. I don't know how it happened. I didn't mean to hit him so hard. Well, I did, but you catch my drift. First of all, I should have been letting him beat me. The fight was fixed. But I wasn't in the mood, and I took it out on poor Billy, a white boy who probably had no idea was rigged. You satisfied? Anything else? Why did you shoot those people? The white guy's friends followed the black guy who accidentally killed him. They're 20 at least. They start insulting him. The black guy takes it. After the insults, the spitting starts. The black guy takes it. The shovel. Black guy takes it. Kick from the back. The black guy takes it. Another and another. Black guy turns and fights back. And the mob growing by the minute falls on him. Someone fires a shot in the air. Everyone backs off. That someone is the dead guy's brother. He sticks a gun in the black guy's face. But the black guy's quicker. He grabs the gun, shoots him in the chest. While the crowd runs, the black guy empties the gun, not pausing to take aim. One dead, four wounded. 13 years. Reduced due to temporary insanity. You satisfied? Anything else? How did you survive on Gore Island? Alphonse. When I arrived, he was still in his prime. And he ruled the roost. He protected me until years later, I had to protect him. There you are. Now you know who I am. So, what's the secret ingredient? The deal was that you would tell me who you are, and I found it out for myself. <laughs> you win, my friend. For now. You're not going to help me? No. No? I'm not a detective, and there's too much blood in this tragedy to put it down. You want blood? I promise you, we've got oceans of it right here. And unlike the blood in your Shakespeare, this is real. Yet another reason. Why don't you like shooting? I did it once. I wasn't good at it. Never again.
Bingo. The giant container has been used to hold children. Was Sophia Capone held in the container? underwear dirty doesn't look like the dress Capone said Sophia was wearing eh. well Sophia was wearing a blue dress with flowers that I personally ordered for her from Italy and she was also wearing white ballet shoes with daisies embroidered on them These prisoners were treated reasonably well, all things considered. No adult could sleep here. What do you have to do to a child before they draw something like that? Someone paid a lot of money for a piece of merchandise that could well be Sophia Capone. Towels that are still damp. A girl's shoe identical to the one that Capone said his granddaughter Sophia was wearing. A hefty receipt for children's clothes with yesterday's date. The forgeries belonging to Sophia Capone's kidnapper, a shoe. Identical to the one described by Capone, and the documents used by the person pretending to be Sophia's uncle make it certain that she was held here. Sophia Capone was here, but did she get out? Someone paid a lot of money for a piece of merchandise that could well be Sophia Capone. According to the register, Ivankov was paid for Sophia, which means she was handed over to his customer. Sophia Capone got out of here, but did she get out alive? A hefty receipt for children's clothes, with yesterday's date. Children's shampoo. Someone wanted them to look perfectly presentable. Towels that are still damp. The damp towels, the children's shampoo, and the receipt from the children's clothes shop indicate that they washed and dressed the children before taking them away. I strongly doubt that they washed them just to kill them, so there is reason to believe that Sophia Capone is still alive. We're done here. Let's go. Already? I thought I'd have time to finish Act 4. Are you doubting my efficiency as a detective? That would depend on the quality of your conclusions. <laughs> Ivan Cobb is a human trafficker. He has various customers who make specific requests. Slavers, pimps, God knows what else.
He kidnaps them and puts them in these cages, shackling them and feeding them like animals until he's ready to complete the order. When he has enough, or maybe when the designated day comes around, his customer comes here and decides which of his catches are satisfactory and which are not. What does he do with the rejects? For many people, this would be a problem, but not for Ivankov. Like a true boxing fan, he organizes fights between the failed candidates. Bloody tournaments, possibly to the death. I'm sure his men place bets, and that the whole sick spectacle, like the Roman circus, helps keep morale high. But, as in the circus, it's not just people that fight. There are animals, too. In these cages, Ivankov kept dogs. He forces the survivors to fight them, wearing boxing gloves, until the dogs tear them apart. And if anyone survives, Ivankov's own men finish the job. This leads us to the next problem. What does Ivankov do with the bodies? Easy. He cuts them up on this table, one by one. Alive, even, if they had the bad luck not to die in the arena. And then? I don't know. Maybe he throws them overboard, but that's always risky. Maybe if we interrogate him when he wakes up, he can tell us more. But that's not what really interests us. What really interests us is what's inside, or what was inside, this container. In recent weeks, Ivankov has kidnapped nine children for an anonymous client who pays him a fortune for each one of them. The most expensive item of all has been given the initials SC, our Sophia, as proved by one of her shoes, which I found in there. Today, or possibly last night, the customer took delivery of the children and paid in full. Before this, Ivankov bought them new clothes and gave them a shower. Why would he do that? Is it to sell them into adoption and wealthy families? I very much doubt it, but I can't figure out another reason. What I do think is that his client doesn't want to leave loose ends. I think he forced him to get rid of the rest of his prisoners. This is why they organized fights yesterday dismembered the combatants, and even killed all the dogs. Are you joking? No. Oh, man. Ah, let's take this piece of shit to Capone. What? They're old friends. I'm sure Alphonse will be happy to... Out of the question. Ah. You saw what he did to Burke. You want him to do it again? Want us to lose another witness? Christ, 20 years ago, I let a child murderer slip through my fingers. I won't let that happen again. What if the two cases are related? Not gonna persuade you, am I? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 